Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for the first week of May. So this is for April 30th through the May 6th, but you know, whenever it resonates, this is for the sign of Cancer. Generally my readings are love readings. We are going to see whatever comes up from the sign of Cancer. Okay, what does Cancer need to know for this first week of May to help them move on, heal, be happy, whatever? What does Cancer need to know regarding their current situation? What do you want me to tell them? You need to have strength. You need to have courage. You need to have confidence to face your fears. You're still in control. You are. The strength card comes out when you have to master your emotions to let go of something. And I know the theme is always let go. Many of us are holding on to something that we don't need to hold on to. The strength card signifies there's something that you need to let go of. You're, you, it's time to open up. It's time to find your power. It's time to be strong, Cancer. It is. You know, you can't think... Somebody is not wanting to accept the truth of a situation. Okay? The judgment is labeled truth in many decks. The judgment card is reversed. Somebody is, is not willing to wake up. Okay, they're not willing to. They're not willing to forgive as well. I can't forgive this situation, so there's a lack of forgiveness here. This is also labeled karma in some decks. So there is a karmic situation here as well. So for many of you, you need to find the courage and the confidence and the strength to accept the truth of a situation, even if it hurts. Okay. There's too much, too many, too many fights, too much feuding going on in a relationship. There's this is feuds. Okay, family feuds. There's 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 too much insecurity here. Okay. You know, and it's time to restore balance. It's time to release. The devil in reverse is release. Releasing a toxic situation. You have to let something go. You do. You have to let a toxic situation go to restore control over your life. Okay? It's a time of freedom. You have to free yourself from these feuds, from these fights. You do need to wake up from a situation and it's going to keep, it's going to take a lot of strength, okay? It is. Inner strength. You have the ability to master your emotions and do this. You can do this, Cancer. Okay? I know that you have a lot of love to offer. I know you're full of love, okay? And you have a lot of compassion and that you want romance and that's why you stay stuck. That's why you, you're, you've, you've stayed for so long. Because you want this romance, this love, so badly. You need it, you want it. But you don't need competition. You don't need tension and conflict. You don't, you don't want to play games, do you? You want happiness. You're looking for something solid. You know, you have to love yourself first. This is about self-love. You, you have to find your, your self-worth, your self-esteem. You need to be able to feel abundant with who you are before you can call in or be with the perfect match. So you have to get to this spot first. This is the independent person who is enjoying life taking care of business on their own, 
knows that they don't need anybody to complete them. And I know you guys are probably, <gasps> you know, because you do need somebody to complete you, right? But you have to get to this spot where you are enjoying your singlehood, enjoying your life. You're looking at life as an opportunity. Uh, you know, you're not thinking negative. You're thinking positive. You are really feeling abundant in all ways. And when you can show the universe and God that you have reached this point of the ultimate self-worth and the ultimate self-love, Bella! Sorry. When you reach this point, that's when you'll call in this happiness. But you have to free yourself from a toxic situation and bring yourself back to this point. Okay? This point, this, this is somebody who is very abundant on their own, taking care of business, loving life, grateful for all the lessons, grateful for all the ups and downs. But it feels like right now there's blockages, okay? There's blockages here because I feel like somebody has been lazy and complacent and probably feeling down in the outs because of all the conflict and tension and the inability to accept the truth of a situation. So you may have withdrawn yourself from the truth and so you're not, you're not here, okay? When, okay, so if we look what's mirroring this independent person is truth. Truth is reversed. You have to accept the truth before you can feel abundant. So you're, you're going to have to wake up in a situation, whatever this is. There's a situation that you are in that is going nowhere. It brings a lot of tension and conflict to your life. This person that you're dealing with probably has a wandering eye. They're lazy and complacent. And you're, you're probably mirroring them in that energy. You're not doing anything about it. You really need to focus. Right now you're probably really easily distracted because... Somebody's keeping some secrets and you know it. But you've got to find your self-worth and the strength and the confidence and the courage to take action in regards to what's best for you. You know, but nobody's taking any action here. Nobody's taking any action. Because there's a lack of self-love and self-worth. There is. You're dealing with the Seven of Swords. I don't know if you know if you've been watching readings for a while. But the Seven of Swords could be a cheater. Somebody's very sneaky. Sly. Will do anything to get what they want. A liar. But you love them, right? You're in love? Is that love? Where's your self-worth? Where's your self-respect? You need to move away from this situation. It's time to move on with the Six of Swords. It is time to move on and accept the truth, even if it hurts. There's been too many fights... Too much tension. And there's no more wish fulfillment here, whatever it is. There's a lack of wish fulfillment. There's no more hope in this situation. And I am so sorry to tell you that. It's time to stand up for yourself and do what's right for you, Cancer. Do what's right for you. Make a firm, solid decision. To see the truth, to see the situation clearly, and do the right thing. You're being taken advantage of as we speak. Somebody is being taken advantage of. And you've worked hard to get where you're at. It's not fair to you. 
Maybe somebody's using you for your money, or they were using you for your money. You're dealing with a very sneaky, sly individual who is emotionally unavailable. They're very moody. They're up and down, hot and cold. And they've brought a lot of disharmony to your life. And it's unrealistic and dissatisfying. And it's time for you to find that confidence I was telling you about. Find the confidence. Find the courage. Find that force within you to take the lead. Stop hanging around. Stand up for yourself. Stop sacrificing yourself needlessly for somebody who is dishonest and not practical and causes a lot of tension and a lot of feuds in your life. You need to free yourself from this toxic situation. And let it end. You've reached a dead end. It's caused a, so, enough mental conflict and despair. It's not what you want. It's not what you need. It's caused way too much discontentment. You're not receiving the love that you desire, that you hope for, that you need, that you're giving. You know, I know. I know that you have fear of change and there's fear of the unknown. And I know this may seem like it's the safest option, but it leads to disappointment. You're dealing, it's, it's going to leave you feeling, or you're dealing with, could be either way, with somebody that is withdrawn, cold, and detached, and they use, use emotional blackmail as a tactic to keep you stuck. There's no solid commitment here. You're dealing with somebody who is self-centered and conceited. Ruthless and unreasonable. There's so much discontent. Why are you holding on? And we are dealing with any sign here. Why are you holding on to somebody who isn't reciprocating? They're bringing a lot of imbalance and tension to your life. And there's a lot of fighting going on. Or there has been. You're being called to have enough self-respect and self-esteem and self-love. And courage and confidence and strength. To let them go and accept the truth. Somebody is refusing to accept the truth even though they know the truth because they were in love. It's time to do the right thing. Be honest with yourself. The justice card's about integrity. It's time to release this heavy weight. Bring your life back in balance and make a solid decision. To accept the truth of this situation, whatever it is. This week is about making the right decision in regards to what you are worth, Cancer. What are you worth? Do you have the confidence and the courage to prove what you're worth? That's what this week is about. Cancer. Sanctuary. Sanctuary. Sanctuary is about going within, figuring this out. So, 
I'm not going to read it because it's so long. This is about finding that spot where you feel comfortable to go within to figure out what your next step is. Take the time you need to contemplate who you are, what you're worth, and where you're going. This week is about making a decision that is best for you. It's about freeing yourself from a toxic situation. What are you worth, Cancer? What are you worth? It's time to be happy. It's time to be abundant. It's time to be prosperous. It's time to enjoy life. And when you get to this spot of the ultimate abundance, pretty much, and you're loving life on your own, and you've shown the universe that you can master your emotions and you can take care of yourself, that's when they will bring in the right one. Or the right situation. But right now, you need to completely accept the truth and free yourself from a karmic, toxic, situation so that you can find happiness once you free yourself and you make yourself abundant and prosperous and you take care of business on your own this is the independent person she finds the courage and the confidence and the strength to take care of herself or himself Proves to the universe that they are a force to be reckoned with. Proves to the universe that they are worthy of the best. The best will come in. It's up to you. Somebody could be moving out. There's too much feuds. There's too many feuds. There's too much fighting. There's a, there's a, there's a dream that is dying. Or has died. It's time to move on with the Six of Swords under there so that you can find your true happiness. But you have to prove your self-worth first. Talk to you later.